what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at it again with another video so you guys have been just bombarding me with tweets instagram dms and even messages on youtube while we was live streaming you guys were typing in the chat that the pg era is over in wwe we're gonna talk about it man appreciate everyone that hit me out appreciate everyone that was letting me know y'all know i was gonna make a video about this uh we're gonna be checking out an article from bleacherreport.com wwe rumors raw to have a tv 14 rating starting july 18th which was previously pg let's get right into this one man wwe monday night raw is set to film uh, set to shift from a TV PG rating to a TV 14 rating starting on July 18th according to the Wrestling Observer Andrew Zarian. Starting July 18th, this is a Twitter, WWE Raw will have a TV 14 rating moving forward on the USA Network. The PG era is over. Raw, which airs on the USA Network, has been rated TV PG since 2008, July 2008, per Kane A. Knight uh, of cage side seats since then the company has attempted to become more family friendly by catering towards a younger audience and avoiding any instances of extreme violence and blood wwe has openly criticized its competitor aew for a match earlier this year saying what occurred was gory self-mutilation the shift to tv 14 rating could lead to a return of edgier programming similar to what was seen during the attitude era of the late 1990s however time will tell whether or not that shift would produce more compelling storylines that will draw in more fans each week and that that last sentence is what we really need to discuss now i am definitely happy that we're going back to a tv 14 radio which hopefully in turns means we will get more adult themed storylines not to say that some of the storylines we've gotten in the past didn't have some adult themes interjected into them but we all know wwe since 2008 wanted to go the more family friendly route which has worked for them financially but it is taking it's kind of, I guess you could say, alienated some of the hardcore fans that grew up watching WWE. It's kind of pushed them away because of now they're seeing, you know, like these kitty type scenarios or these family friendly type scenarios. And it just doesn't hit the same. With AEW, they knew from the gate what they were trying to do. They wanted to touch, tap into the hardcore fans, which works. You know, that's why they started off with a TV 14 radio or a uh, uh, rating. But with WWE, it's always been more about trying to get these sponsorships and, and, you know, sell merch to the kids, which nothing wrong with that. Get to the bag. But I hope this is a, a, a good start to some change within the, I guess you could say, the storyline and the characters that are on these shows. Because when it's all said and done, this is supposed to be a choreographed fight. Me personally, if I'm trying to fight someone for a championship, I'm not trying to be friendly. I'm not trying to be buddy buddy. I'm out there to try to kick your ass and win that title. Now let's add a storyline to it. Maybe you cost me the title. Maybe you you tried to injure me. I've always felt if someone tries to injure me, whenever I do come back, my set goal is is to try to end your career and sometimes when you do that blood may may be present there may be some flaming tables there may be you know a little bit of carnage there because you're trying to fight somebody depending on the stipulation so i feel like you can kind of add a little bit color to some of these stipulation matches which honestly makes the match overall better and in a sense of hardcoreness you know well not hardcoreness but in a sense of like in the realm of reality, you know, having a Hell in a Cell match and there's not really much blood from each wrestler. It, it, it Not to say it's a bad thing because we've gotten so used to it, but, you know, it and that little, and the little color, that little flavor to it could definitely enhance the overall feud, in my personal opinion. It doesn't have to be gratuitous. It don't have to be buckets of blood and all this other stuff. You don't have to go too crazy, but to give that sense of, like, 
this was a battle. This was a war. This was intense. So I, I think this TV 14 rating opens up the door for them to really get into their their adult themes. Like that's really I think could possibly help the company just in a whole to gain some of the fans that they've lost to AEW or people that just don't watch wrestling anymore. People that prefer to watch UFC. Because UFC is bloody. Like they're beating the crap out of each other. Faces is damn near tearing off. But people want to see that. People want to see combat. People want to see two fighters go at it. And I'm not saying WWE has to do that. But I'm saying it just opens up that space, that realm of, oh man, they're about to have a... Uh, uh, a Hell in a Cell match, or they're about to have a uh, a TLC match. There may be some blood there. You know what I'm saying? You know, or prime example, a Last Man Standing match. We've been joking for weeks now with Roman. Well, I know I've been joking. Roman and Brock Lesnar. They're having this Last Man Standing match. I want them to try to murder each other. I want there to be a flaming table. I want to see blood. Well, we may not get the flaming table, but we may see some blood at their match this year for SummerSlam, which I think is fine. You know, granted, we've seen them, you know, we'll, we've seen Roman and, and Brock bleed in the past, so you can say, well, that doesn't help any bit, but you get the point. You get what I'm saying. Just adding that little bit of edginess could help. You know, and certain characters in the company or wrestlers in the company have the benefit of being able to be edgy because of their position in the company. And what I mean by that is, now that we're going with TV 14 radio, uh, uh, rating, we could possibly get better promos, more realistic, authentic promos where people may curse a little bit more. I'm not saying you got to curse every five seconds, but they can kind of get their stuff off. And we're not just talking about the Roman Reigns, the Brock Lesnar's, and the John Cena's. These guys, they can literally go out there, damn near say whatever, they'll be fine. You know what I'm saying? Because there is the status of where they at in the in the company. Randy Orton's one of those people as well, and Edge. But you can kind of get, you can incorporate more people into that group of. They can kind of get off their uh, more aggressive or edgy side. Like for example, I want to paint a scenario. Say for example, you're over there in a championship match. And all of a sudden, someone interferes. They interfere in your championship match. They cost you the match. And then they injure you, which we've seen plenty of times storyline-wise. They injure you. You off for a few weeks. You come back. You come back. You attack them. You try to brutalize them. Hell, you even bust them open. You cause them to bleed, which would be awesome. And then y'all setting up a match or a feud. And you say, what I did to this person, this is only the beginning. They screwed me out of a title match. I don't want no regular match. I He tried to end my career, so I want a non-sanctioned, an unsanctioned match. You know what I'm saying? A no-holds-barred match, and I'm going to kick your ass. I'm going to beat the living, you know, beat the living, you know, they probably have to bleep the S word out, but they can get that off. Or I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a beat you like a, a dog. I'm going to get, you know, get more aggressive. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to mess you up. Like, Y'all get what I'm saying? Like, just more on the edgier side because as a character, you would be mad. They try to end your career and they cost you a title. I don't, I'm not a big fan of hearing a, I'm going to kick your butt. It's over for you, pal. You're going down. Like, they're overly scripted, like, these PG generic lines. Like, nobody talks like that in real life. If you screw me over, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, you know, I'm gonna mess you up. I'm a, I'm a do, I'm gonna do some bad things to you. And there may be some curse words there. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I think this overall is a good step in the right direction. Now, the only caveat to this whole thing, why in this video, Vince McMahon is still running things. Vince McMahon is still running the shows. They still have the same writers out there. Not to say that all the writers that they have are bad, but some of them some of the writers that wwe hires they definitely don't know a lick about wrestling not really so none of this really matters if the right people don't get pushed younger talent don't get pushed and they don't actually start enhancing these storylines so these characters can get over none of this matters because you can have a tv 14 rating and still produce a bad show you can have 
the ability to be more edgier, but you still make the same mistakes booking wise. You know what I'm saying? Not putting people over that need to be pushed. Not, you know, letting these wrestlers, I think they need to let these wrestlers put more faith in these wrestlers to cut their own promos, make their own promos and, you know, give them guidelines and let them go out there and be themselves. I think that's what we need to see more of. We need to see more, less of the micromanaging, more of the wrestlers doing their job, being wrestlers, giving them a chance, giving them that opportunity to get their character over, you know, and that's what the real test is going to be. But we're heading in the right direction. So I do think this is a win. You know, I will see how things play out. So I want to ask you guys a question. Monday Night Raw uh, is coming up. And I usually don't stream Monday Night Raw. Unless it's like a, a go-home show or the, the show after a pay-per-view, I may stream it. Uh, but I may stream, do a live stream reaction of this Monday Night Raw since it's going to be the first Raw in many many years that's gonna have a tv 14 rating granted i know they're probably not gonna have too much of a you know a big shift in how they run the show but we will see you know if there is any type of noticeable change so what i want y'all to do let me know if you guys want me to do a live stream reaction on monday i will make sure i try to set some time to do a live stream reaction on monday night raw just to see what if they have made any subtle changes or any changes at all since the rating is now tv 14 and i also want to know down below what your guys thoughts and opinions on this do you guys think this will create some type of change within the company or do you guys think just because they changed the rating it's going to overall be more or less the same stuff let me know. I, I really want to know what you guys think about this. But this is really exciting. I'm really interested to see how all of this plays out. And I'm this is this could be potentially what WWE may may have needed to create better storylines. I don't know. We will see. I appreciate all love and support. Road to 90k. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.